guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Zarya Shakira, aka Frizzy Curls, back again with another YouTube video. So I know my subscribers, my loyal subscribers are probably like, sis, I'm gonna need you to like stop posting videos and then disappear for like weeks. But I'm back today and hopefully I will finally get out this little funk that I've been in and can deliver more content to you guys. Also, if the lighting starts to change, the sun is doing whatever it wants to do, so I don't have any control over that. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. And make sure you are subscribed to my channel before we start this video. It's a Z shit. It's a Z shit. Pull up in a demon on guard. As you can see from the thumbnail and title, I will be talking about my wisdom dread today over the past few months probably a year honestly I've been getting so many questions about this little lock that I have so if you're wondering why I only have one earring on I took it off just so I can you know make this stand out today but I might put it back on I don't know anyway so obviously today I'm going to be discussing everything you need to know at least for this video about my wisdom dread so I posted on my community tab here on YouTube and I also did the questions box on Instagram and these questions that I'll be answering today are all really good questions and I also thank everyone for asking questions because I really didn't think anyone was gonna really care to even ask like when I gave the time or opportunity to you know be asked questions about it now I feel more confident in doing this video versus just like randomly posting this video like here's something about my dread when nobody really asked so I actually got a decent amount of questions and it might be a lengthy video because of that but I do appreciate you guys for asking questions about this lock and they literally were all good questions like all of them so I hope this video isn't too boring however if you did not come to hear me talk about my wisdom lock do not mean to be rude but this video is not for you and you might as well just exit because you're gonna be bored <laughs> So you can go watch some of my other videos because I really don't want you sitting here watching this video, you know, giving it a thumbs down because you have a short attention span and you don't want to hear me talk like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if this video is for you and you want to know all about my wisdom dread, then just keep on watching so I can introduce you to Shelly. So this little beauty that is on my right side of the back of my head is a wisdom dread. Now, I don't know if that's the real name, but I think I heard someone call it that and... I guess that's the name for it. I don't really know like where it originated from or if it's even like a real thing. I don't even know, like, I don't know. But I call it a wisdom dread because I heard someone call it a wisdom dread. So this is my wisdom dread and it's cute. So just a little bit of history before I get into the actual questions of my wisdom dread. I've been growing it for about four years now, I believe. I think in December of 2015, that's when I started it. And I think October 2016 is when I took it out. And then I was like, man, I really miss my dread. Like it was, it was, it was cute. So February of 2018, that's when I put her back in my head and she's been rocking with me ever since. And also, if you didn't know who Shelly was, Shelly is my wisdom dread. I named her Shelly because uh, when I first started it, I put a curry shell on the bottom of it and I was like, oh, this is kind of neat. It really wasn't me who named it Shelly. I think someone who I met in college said something about it and was like, what's, this, what's the thing's name, Shelly or something? So basically, that's how it came. I was like, it sure is. So yeah, that's the little backstory about how this wisdom dread came about a little bit. And I'm going to get to the first question now, which is, I'm actually, I have the questions like right in front of me. So I'm going to be reading off of that if I forget like what the questions are. So what inspired you to get it? I guess 2015 because December is when I did it. So somewhere along 2015, maybe even 2014, I don't know. But I found this picture on Instagram. I was just scrolling across Instagram and there was this girl with like turquoise dreads or something. It was either she had turquoise dreads or her little wisdom dread was turquoise. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cute. Cause you know, if you don't know, like I've really been into color for a long time, but I didn't color my hair until like 2017. So I love colors, like especially on brown skin. But anywho. I saw that picture on Instagram and I was like, that's really cute. Like, when I build up the courage to dread up something, I'm definitely doing this, like, because I'm going to be popping. So that's really what inspired me to get this wisdom dread or do it myself was this picture that I saw on Instagram and I thought it was really cute. The next question is, how did you start locking? Um, I'm assuming this means how do I create it, right? 
So, um, I already have a video on my channel on how I actually take this out and redo it. So I'm just going to list it here and as well in the description box. But, um, you can check that video out if you really want to see actually how it's, you know, created. I really, I really can't explain it, but I just took the comb and just twirled the hair to create a dreadlock. If you don't know how to do dreads, you can probably just find a video on YouTube on how to do dreadlocks with a comb and that's basically how I did this. Another question is why only keep one? I really think one is just enough for a random dread that's in your hair. <laughs> I never thought of getting another one. I think this single dreadlock um, wave or whatever, I don't even know if it's a wave but it might be after this video. I really don't know how to answer that question. I think one just makes sense to have a random lock, you know? So the next question is, what do people usually say when they see it? A lot of times people are like, oh my gosh, you have a dread right here, it's so cute, da, 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 da. They're always telling me they like it, so that's another reason why I'm keeping it. I don't, I'm not gonna say I would take it out if people thought it was weird, because I really like this dread, and I like how it looks, and you know, that's just my little, piece of my personality on my hair but um yeah most of the time when they see my hair they really say that they really like this dread and it's cute and it's different and unique and stuff so yeah and another thing I guess this could be like a question but they'll ask me have I had dreads before and the answer is no if y'all didn't know I've never had dreadlocks in my hair this is literally the only dread I've ever had but a lot of times they ask have I had dreads before and just decided to keep one. That's probably why they might think that it's just one lock, but no, it's just what I randomly decided to do. Another question is, do I think a bug is on me? Now listen, when I first put this dread in my hair, I ain't gonna lie, I, I really used to forget that I had it and I used to be freaking out. Fun fact real quick, I hate bugs. So if I think something's crawling on me, I'm going to spaz, period. When I first did it, obviously I had the shell on the end of my hair. So just imagine, you know, when obviously when it started, it wasn't this long. So it was a little bit shorter. And just imagine something like, you know, dangling right here. So yeah, I often thought a bug was on me, but it was just my dread. So I had to get it. I had to get used to that. How long are you going to let it grow? This baby right here is here to stay. I am not cutting her. I'm not taking her out. I hope I don't have to take her out for anything because now it's really like a lock and I don't think I have to like retwist or take it out and start it over like I did before. But um yeah, I'm going to be keeping her forever. She's my little she's my little I guess you can say when I'm old, it'll be like a childhood memory that I'll have. So she's gonna be with me forever until I croak. Another question is, would you ever take the lock out? And I kinda already answered that when I told you that I did a video which shows me taking it out and putting it back in. And I've also obviously taken it out in the little break that I had in 2016 to 2018. Those were the only two times I took it out. Once was because I needed a break from it, so took it out and then the next time was just to retwist it to make it you know more perfect when you color your hair how do you not color the lock so I'm assuming this person that asked this question <laughs> really doesn't watch my videos they just wanted to ask a question and hope that I answer it in this video I don't know but um, in several of my videos when either washing or doing any type of process to my hair I take some aluminum foil and wrap my lock up if I feel that it's gonna, you know, be disturbed or mess up a little bit while I'm doing my hair. So if you have a wisdom dread or if you're planning on, you know, creating one, um, that will be a key tip when you are washing your hair or if you're coloring it or whatever, how to protect it from anything that you're doing. Just wrap it in some aluminum foil and make sure it's pretty tight at the root and you should be good. <laughs> Do you treat your lock any differently when it comes to your hair routine? Example, do you wash, deep condition it on wash day? I would say yes, I do treat it differently because sometimes I just leave it there and don't do anything to it while I'm, you know, washing my own hair. Or I will actually, I, I never wash it with shampoo itself. I just let it run down from my hair because it's really no point of washing this thing. It's a dreadlock, but just one it's not like a full head of dreadlocks I just let the shampoo run down when I'm washing my hair but as for like deep conditioning and conditioning my hair I do actually put conditioner on it when I wash it 
so just to make sure it's not like too crusty and doesn't like dry out and break off in certain areas and stuff so I do actually keep it pretty like conditioned because obviously if I want it if I want to keep this for a long time I need to at least keep it up so yeah if you are deciding on doing this make sure you are taking care of it not just leaving it hanging just because it's a little dreadlock does it get in the way of styling your hair um not anymore it definitely used to a whole lot I can't tell you how many times I snagged it on brushes and combs doing my hair like Basically, I didn't want to spoil this um, little answer in the intro of this video about my wisdom dread, but I took it out because I used to snag it in the shower when I would wash my hair, and I would obviously snag it with brushes and combs when I'm styling it. So that is the reason why I took it out for like a year. <laughs> Um, I just needed a break because I was tired of snagging it. I was like, if I'm just going to have to keep fixing it and redoing it, then what's the purpose of having it? So I took it out because I got irritated with that and told myself, okay, I really want this dread. So just make sure you're being more careful when you are washing and styling your hair and you should be good. <laughs> so another question is, is it hard to maintain? The answer is no, it is a dreadlock. It's literally the least amount of maintenance that you ever would have to worry about <laughs> like honestly truly the only maintenance you have to worry about is retwisting it and making sure like it doesn't you know unravel or um snag when you're doing stuff i don't really do anything to it i literally just let it sit here look pretty and that's it i don't i hardly ever put it in my bonnet when i go to sleep or you know tuck it or anything i just let it do its thing you know, it's just here to hang out and be my little friend. Do you let it lock up or do you continuously redo it? So to add on to the question that I said earlier about my um, retwisting video that I have, uh, I let it lock up. <laughs> I don't continuously redo it because it's not easy taking out dreadlocks and if I literally tried to redo this like every month, I would get annoyed and honestly, it probably wouldn't even grow. Um, when I started it was it was probably well without stretching it it probably hung about up here on my shoulder like I said when I first started it I thought a bug was on me because the shell so yeah it was around like my shoulder a little bit above my collarbone when I first started it and now it just hangs just below my collarbone before it's stretched so that is a lot of growth and when I stretch it it comes down to just the top of my boob and yeah so that's a lot of growth that I did receive after doing this again but I don't see a reason to have to continuously redo it it just seems like too much for me but I only retwisted it once because it just looked a little too bulky for me now I'm not saying that I want it well I did want like a perfect dreadlock but I'm not saying that yours if you decide to do one has to be perfect but at least for me I just didn't like the way that it was looking so I definitely retwisted it and that's probably the only amount of redoing that I will ever do again because there's no reason for me to even take this out anymore so this isn't I didn't really get this question but I thought it was important to at least let you guys know um is it annoying I guess could be a question but the only thing I will say is it's not annoying until like I have to shake out my hair and it's like slapping me in the face with these two shells and accessories it does hurt a little bit it's like I feel like my tooth is about to you know knock out my mouth or something if it hits my tooth or hits my lip or something it really does hurt <laughs> like I be shaking okay other than that I literally have like minimal problems um that's really the only thing that annoys me about it but I do know somebody actually that has one like around or somewhere around their ear and I thought that was pretty cute I met this other guy once he has he has a full head of dreads but he has one that's his wisdom lock and it's longer than all the other dreads and he uses it to wrap his hair up and I was like bruh that's that's real cool like if I had dreadlocks this one will probably be the hair bow for it because obviously it's probably gonna grow a lot longer than the rest of them whenever that time comes if I decide to do that but anyway I just thought it was cool like the, the couple people that I met with their wisdom dress I'm just like oh my gosh like we're here like we see each other <laughs> so the last question of this video today will be do you recommend others getting it if it's something they're thinking about my answer to that is yes so like I said I really love this dreadlock it looks with my hair 
in the colors that I do and the styles that I do. I just really think this is like a cool little detail to have in my hair. So that's really why I really, really like this thing. So um, recommending it to others, I definitely say if you like something different like this, then do it. It's really not much to have to worry about once you get the hang of how to retwist it if you need to and manage it when you're washing your hair and stuff. It's literally like no maintenance to it, honestly. And I really think if, if you like it on me, I think you'll like it on yourself. So my recommendation is to get it. If you decide to create a little wisdom dread and if you decide to film a video on it, if you also are a YouTuber, tag me in the video or just Post a picture on Instagram, tag me on it, let me see that, that I was your inspiration for doing this because I like to see that I, I inspire some people sometimes, you know. I feel like I'm underrated anyway, so if I am an inspiration to some, like, they might not say it or you won't know until, like, my name blows up, whenever that will be. So, yeah, if, if I have inspired you to get a wisdom dread, create it, make it, whatever, however you want to say it, if I have inspired you to do that, just let me know in the comments below. Let me know on Instagram. I will leave all my information in the description box. If there is something I forgot to mention somehow, I will leave it in the description box. And also, if I didn't answer your question or if you have one that I didn't mention, just leave it down below in the comments. And if there are enough questions, I definitely will do a part two because I like talking about this thing. Little do y'all know, I really do like talking about it. Like, I love when people ask me stuff about my lock. I'm like, yeah. It's my little baby. But if you did like this video of me talking about my baby Shelly, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. If you are new to my channel, again, hello, and make sure you are subscribed, being that I am on a road to 10K subscribers, and I'm almost there, so go ahead and help me out. I think you'll actually like my content, especially any content that I post from here on out. So if you like this video, you may like some others, so you might as well just subscribe. But that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!